acting as an executor is a big job and it can be hard to know where to start. The executor of a will has many duties, including gathering assets, paying debts, distributing gifts, preparing the final tax return and handling probate. Probate is the court process for declaring a will valid. If you are asked to be an executor, you can say no. You can decline the job at the time the will is made or at the time the person dies. However, if you start working on the estate, you will need permission of the court to leave the role of executor and you must have a good reason. Friends have asked me whether executors are paid for their work. They can be paid, but not more than 5% of the value of the estate. Other friends have expressed concern about debt liability but executors are not responsible for any debts of the estate unless they co-signed for the debt in the first place. Liability can become an issue if the executor does not follow the law. In those cases, the executor could be held financially liable to the heirs or to estate creditors. Whether you hire a lawyer or not, it's a good idea to meet with one initially to ensure you are aware of all the rules. As soon as possible, Contact Canada Revenue Agency and Service Canada. They need to know the date your loved one died. Once that's done, find the original signed will. Unlike the movies, you do not have to hold a reading of the will. Some executors allow beneficiaries to see the entire will. Others only show beneficiaries the part of the will that names them specifically. That is your decision as an executor. At this point, you may need to apply to the court for letters probate. Letters probate confirms your right to act as an executor to the will. The application for letters probate includes the original signed will, a detailed list of the deceased's assets, and proof that the will is valid. Once you get letters probate and the will is confirmed valid, you can begin the real work. Collect all the assets and any money owed to the estate. You should open a bank account specifically for the estate so that all money is in one spot. Before any gifts can be distributed, you must pay all debts of the estate. The debts must be paid in the following order. Mortgages and other secured debts, funeral expenses up to $2,500, expenses of probate, medical and nursing home expenses not exceeding the last one month's expenses, and only then other debts on an equal footing. When you apply for probate, the estate section of the court automatically sends a notice to the Royal Gazette of PEI. This is a government publication for special notices. The Royal Gazette announces the person's death and asks for creditors to notify the executor if they are owed money by the estate. Creditors have six months to come forward. Once the debts of the estate have been paid and the final tax return filed, you can apply for a clearance certificate from the Canada Revenue Agency. This confirms that the estate has paid all taxes, interest and penalties owed. After getting the clearance certificate, you can begin giving out bequests and gifts. Make sure you get receipts for anything given to beneficiaries. In fact, Make sure you keep careful records and receipts of your own expenses as well. Your out-of-pocket expenses can be reimbursed by the estate. I hope this brief overview was helpful. There are a lot of details I couldn't cover. Community legal information can help you learn more. Mm -hmm.